put the report, the rescue center is also moving into the helicopters. Mm. That's maybe because the usually it's very heavy and uh, not, not easy to, to take out of that. Okay, okay we have okay. seen the yeah. main yeah. parachute has been released. That means Whoa. Shenzhou 7 has safely returned to the atmosphere. Now it is the question of whether the Shenzhou 7 re-entry module will land it safely. Yeah. Oh. We hope it's going to be a soft landing so that the astronauts will pretty much enjoy the landing. Yeah. So you can see that now look look like in a in the pendulum, even the you know, hanging on the parachute. Yeah. So very slowly and then it's very lucky for a video camera to capture uh, the parachute uh, with the spacecraft so that we can have a visual of the spacecraft. Everything is normal. I think this is the main parachute. The acceleration parachute has already been released. So the longitude is 111.34. That's the latitude. The latitude is 42.29. The longitude is 111.345. So it means that the coordinates have been correctly reported right, to the yeah. ground control. Yeah. Yeah, you can That's see. That's why they have spotted the That's GPS readout. Yeah. 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 Hey, Thanks hey, to the navigation hey, system. Hey, with uh, modern technology, yeah. we can do things much quicker and efficiently. Mm -hmm. uh, from mm -hmm. now, the helicopter maybe fly faster than the parachute, <laughs> so you can right. even so. Take that. I believe the helicopters are just moving very fast to the landing site to welcome the three astronauts. Mm -hmm. And this is an image taken by infrared camera. Mm -hmm. So that's why we see the black background. Mm -hmm. The infrared camera has taken... I think the employment of infrared is because maybe it will land in the dark. In the dark after sunset. Yeah. Also it's because the, the, the heat Still yeah, because in the dark you cannot see visually, with infrared you can see them. That, that heat shield is still radiating a lot yeah, of heat. And that yeah. heat shield is still radiating. And also the astronauts is radiating heat. <laughs> well, not, not compared to the heat shield. That's very, still very hot on the out, out body. Yeah, external. It's very hot? Well, when the, yeah. when the space shuttle lands, they have people dressed in... Uh, in uh, protective suits going out there and looking over the outside of it and they're not allowed to touch so it. To no. touch the body. <laughs> uh, this is Premier Wen Jiabao and other top leaders in the command center are watching the descent of Shenzhou 7 <coughs> re-entry module. <coughs> Premier Wen Jiabao and other top officials <coughs> sitting in the control room watching the whole process. This process of landing will probably oh, take about oh, 10 oh, minutes oh, oh, oh. before we can see the landing of the spacecraft and coming out of the astronauts from the capsule. But it looks like this is a very steady descent. And then the temperature change from uh, about 3,000 degree to more, to more. Even though it's a little bit above 100 degrees Celsius? When, the, when they enter the, the uh, troposphere, mm -hmm. the heat shield is still glowing hot, mm -hmm. but the air outside is cool. lower stratospheric air. It's at about minus 50 or minus 60. So it cools down the body. Yeah, um, big contrast. <laughs> not, not, not that quickly. Not that quickly. Yeah, to cool down. Yeah. For about a thousand? No. Do you <laughs> think, <laughs> so do you think the two astronauts can walk out of the capsule on their own? Because Yang Liwei and uh, the Shenzhou 6 astronauts did 
walk out of the capsule on their own. It, it, it depends on how the capsule is tipped. And know, also the physical they, they fitness of the astronauts. Oh, that's okay. not a problem. That's after, not a after problem after a for them like because this, they no. only have flew yeah. about three days. If they had been in be space for six months, then they would probably need to lean on somebody. Yeah, it's yeah. surprising because one uh, Soviet Union Russian astronaut spent over 300 days in the uh, in the space and still walk out of the capsule mm -hmm. on his own. Mm -hmm. in, 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 that is miraculous. In, 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 ISS, right? Yeah. On the ISS. Mm -hmm. They're reporting back to the ground control. Right. The astronauts are reporting back to the ground yeah. control. Yeah. They are in good shape. Yeah. So you can see the wind acting on the. Yeah, the returning wind suit, uh, like in a pendulum. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah. like a pendulum mm -hmm. wobbling a little bit. Right, yeah. right. But thanks to such a large parachute, it's yeah. about 1,200 square meters yeah. big. Yeah. All the people, especially the families of the three astronauts, right. they're very excited to see this because their heroes are returning home safe and sound. We have, we have received the news that the wind is not strong enough to disrupt the landing. What, what you don't want is for the parachute to be traveling horizontally yeah. so fast that the spacecraft will bounce and roll mm. on the ground. Um, you want it not horizontally. You, 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 want it, you want it to hit with a very low horizontal speed. Low right? horizontal. Yes. So a little bit of wind is helpful. Right. It makes, makes no difference. Mm. It, it, it does not uh, have any negative effect. <laughs> so whether the uh, re-entry module will land uh, steadily depends on whether uh, it will stand up, upright. Yes. Yeah. And also the speed when it hits the ground. Yes. It should be slow. Slow, no yes. big horizontal speed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I heard the news that they have uh, mounted a kind of a thrusters yes. on the bottom of mm -hmm. the uh, Shenzhou uh, spacecraft mm -hmm. so that when it's approaching the ground, the thrusters will begin work and, yes. make to and cushion the landing. Cushion yeah, the cushion. landing. Yeah. I'm not sure they have you know proportion the things like when you heat in the ground like proportion the gas out you know, proportion. Mm. I'm not sure, but they have the cushion out, you know beneath the reentry mm. module, right? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> well, this is the infrared, infrared. Uh, camera uh, picture. Yeah. We don't see what's the guy, so he's blind. <laughs> you can see the temperature is pretty hard. Our risk can future, we can see really clearly <laughs> about the spaceship. <laughs> so <we can. laughs> I think uh, one mm -hmm. of the reasons why they chose this window uh, to have the descent in, in the day is because